and we are loading up for heat number one let's take a look at our grid while they are getting lined up we've got Jim Cook and Ben Flanagan on the front row Wayne Bridges and Skyler Massey third and fourth fifth and sixth is Ryan Nesbitt and Gerald Thanos Poole is out there tonight James Johnson and Kevin Martin seventh and eighth Drew Warren and Brian Mansfield round out the top ten or the 10 cars in heat number one. So it looks like we'll probably have about two different heats tonight. And it looks like the pace truck is going to get them rolling here. We'll watch them pace around. I think it'll just be the one pace lap, but we'll find out here in a moment. It is short track racing in the dirt tonight from Bristol, Tennessee. And we'll just have to wait. In the feature, we'll get some in-car views and see what kind of madness ensues. Pace truck leading them around. Pace truck's going to take them around one more time for heat number one. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe to both Facebook and the Twitch channel. We're trying to uh, keep growing, get uh, get these guys some exposure. Go check out the Outcast Independent League on Facebook. And as well as all the other leagues that we broadcast, there are, their links are on the Facebook page as well. XCal has a website, BRR, Outcast. All of them have their own websites and Facebook pages. A lot of great information and a lot of great stuff out there. Right now, it's great green flag racing. Eight laps. They all dive off into turn one. They're trying to get three wide back there at the back of the field. Meanwhile, it is Jim Cook to the front. There goes Jim Cook off the front. He's got Ben Flanagan, though, right behind him. And here comes Ryan Nesbitt already moving up. We talked about him earlier. Oh, we're three wide back behind him. James Johnson, Gerald Poole, Drew Warren. Looks like they're backing off just a little bit. But they are trying to get three and four wide back there. Ryan Nesbitt now up into second place. It took him no time to move up to the front. And now Jim Cook's about to have his hands full. Ben Flanagan, though, still hanging tough right there with him, right on the back bumper. We'll see if he can get back up there and get something done. But Ryan Nesbitt is on a march to the front right now. Ryan Nesbitt closed right back to the back, right up to the back bumper of Jim Cook that last time. He couldn't quite get there. Looked like he struggled getting off the corner. He is not struggling now. He's looking to the inside as they go down into the corner again. Can't quite get there yet. As they come down, caution is out. Looks like Skylar Massey was involved. Let's see what happened to Mr. Skylar here. Dives off into the turn and just lost it looked like he might have gotten the left front a little too low he manages to recover it but that brings us under our first caution of the night jim cook still in the lead ryan nesbitt started fifth he is up to uh second now so he is on the march another car on the march right now drew warren There's Drew. He is in the 35th car, the black car there. He started in ninth. He is now up to sixth place. So we've got a couple of cars moving up and a couple of them moving back. But uh, Drew Warren, Ryan Nesbitt, they'll be ones to watch in the feature. Looks like we'll go green flag racing with about three laps left to go in heat number one. And we'll see. Looks like they are getting the one to go. Ryan 
Ryan Nesbitt's going to, we're going to be watching him closely on this restart. He should be able to get uh, the way he came charging up on the start of this heat. I would imagine he will be uh, getting back and giving Jim a real challenge here on this restart. This is definitely not what Jim Cook wanted to see. He's been out front since the start of the race. He took the uh, lead in on lap one on the back straightaway and has managed to hold off Ryan Nesbitt so far. But uh, and it looks like they delayed the green, but lights are back out on the pace truck. And now they are going to line up side by side, and Jim Cook is about to have his hands full. And a huge shout out to every member of this league for everything they do for charities. A great bunch of guys, and... I know that their SR8 series is recruiting as Jim Cook takes the green flag and gets a good jump on Ryan Nesbitt. That might be the only way he can hold him off with two laps to go. We'll see if Ryan Nesbitt can close that gap up. Jim Cook just went for it the second the pace car dropped off and he was legit to go and he has checked out. And Ryan Nesbitt to the inside for the lead coming down to the white flag. Ryan Nesbitt to the lead. Jim Cook back to second. Ben Flanagan still in third. Looking a little further back, James Johnson and Wayne Bridges battling there along with uh, Drew Warren. Drew Warren looking up to the inside. Here they come to the checker. Who's it going to be at the line as they are leaning on each other there in three and four? But it will be James Johnson. So Ryan Nesbitt wins heat number one. Jim Cook second. Ben Flanagan third. As we move into heat number two. All right, heat number two. Michael Whiting in, on the pole. Chris, Iron Man, Standard second. Nick, Mullet Man, Frank in third. Tom Land in fourth. Matt Stewart. And DJ Kenner, fifth and sixth. Seventh is Doug Tyron Orton. Eighth is Brett Carroll. Ninth is Doug McLaughlin. And tenth will be James Scruggs. All right, just waiting for it looks like Mullet Man to get out there. Nope, Tom Land. We're waiting on Tom Land to get on the grid, and then we will go green flag racing. There is Michael Whiting and Chris Standards there on the front row. Nick Mullet Frank on the second row. I'm sorry, Nick. I forgot I'm supposed to start calling you Fancy. That's right. It is Nick Fancy Frank. That's <laughs> Stewart and DJ Kenner there. Doug Tyre Norton on the inside with Brett Carroll on the outside. That is going to be a heck of a battle right there. And looks like we are rolling off. Everybody is out. Tom Land did not make the grid. We'll see if he hops into the session or not. He did not make the grid. Never trust a red car, says Chris Standridge, the guy on the outside of the front row in a red car. Yeah. Probably uh, very wise advice. <laughs> and you can tell these guys have a great sense of humor when they're making fun of themselves on the pace laps. As I was mentioning, these guys do a lot of fundraising and donations for autism and for uh, veteran suicide. So, huge shout out to the entire Outcast family of leagues. And I do believe it is up to about 14 or 15. I think that'll change over the next few weeks as seasons end and begin. But, a uh, bunch of different leagues. Outcast has something for everybody, including Rookie League and uh, Rookie Dirt. Rookie Asphalt and Expert Dirt and Asphalt. All right, Michael Whiting will lead them down as the pace car drops off. They will go on the green flag on this one, and then the restarts are on the leader. 
Green flag in the air. Michael Whiting does not get a good start, but that man on the outside in the red 22 does get a good start. Chris Standridge, no, as Michael Whiting gets down into turn one, Chris Standridge just slowed way down. And there are three wide briefly back there as Doug Tyre Norton and Doug McLaughlin were battling. Back up front, Chris Standridge in second. He's got DJ Kenner coming to the front. No surprise there. He is up from sixth to third now. Caution is out. Looks like James Scruggs was involved. Let's see if we can see what happened here. Oh, James got that outside wall. Doug Norton there to the inside. And looks like he might have clipped. I believe that might have been Tom Land. No, that was not Tom Land. That was Matt Stewart got clipped there. Matt Stewart now on pit road. Looks like Tom Land may be coming out of the pits to join the field now. We'll see if he is. Yes, Tom Land is now out on track. Seeing how these battles are going so far in the first two heats, I am definitely looking forward to all 20 cars being on track together in the feature. This is going to get crazy. There's been a few instances of three wide racing, and I'd imagine that we're going to see some four wide racing. They do reset the track to a zero state in the uh, or zero usage state, excuse me, in the Outcast Dirt Series. So that does help out some of these guys. But you got guys out there that uh, definitely spend a lot of time on the slicked off track and those guys are the ones to watch when it comes down dj kenner back there in third he is one that spends a lot of time practicing as the track slicks off in practice michael whiting continues to lead him around They should be lining up. Pace lights should go out on the pace car this time by. They do not. Interesting. Let's see what happens. I'm seeing a note about Nick Frank being involved in something. Let's see if we can... Looks like it might have just been a glitch. I'm not seeing anything happening there, so... Now we will see who gets the better restart. Michael Whiting will control the restart this time. He does not have to wait for the green flag, so we will see if he gets a good jump. Chris Standridge and DJ Kenner are right there with him. He's about to have his hands full. And shout out to Nick Frank. Uh, he is up there in fourth right now. Hanging on to it. I know... And talking to Nick throughout the week, he said he's still struggling to learn a lot on dirt. A lot of these outcast guys have been helping him, as they do all new members. And he's definitely uh, improving by leaps and bounds every week. Look forward to seeing what he can do in the 360s tonight. They are stacked up, racked up, ready to go. Pace car should be driving off. There it goes. Michael Whiting. Goes for it right as the pace truck hits pit road. He goes for it. He is out in the lead with two laps to go. Chris Standridge and DJ Kenner battling for second now. Brett Carroll trying to run him down from fourth place as we hit the last lap, and it looks like it's going to be a battle for second place here. But they are closing quickly on Michael Whiting. Can he hold these two cars off for another half a lap? He gets off into three and four with a decent lead. I think he'll be able to do it. Chris Standridge may even hold on to second or 
on to second. Yes, he will. Third place is going to be DJ Kenner. Brett Carroll comes home fourth. Fifth place is Nick Frank. Sixth is Doug Tyre Norton. Tom Land, James Scruggs, Doug McLaughlin, and Matt Stewart ran out the field for heat number two. All right, two-minute warm-up here. We'll let these guys get uh, get out there on track, get a little bit more practice, make sure their cars are ready to go. Ryan Nesbitt is one of the first ones out on track. No surprise there. No surprise, Ryan Nesbitt currently fastest on track. Gerald Thanos Poole up there in the top five. Chris Standridge is third. Michael Whiting second. Looking through the top ten, it looks like Brian Mansfield, Drew Warren. James Johnson, no surprise to see Jim up there. And it looks like just about everybody has gotten in at least one practice lap here. <laughs> and here they come to finish the warm-up. If I didn't know better, I'd swear some of those spins right there at the end were intentional. All right. 20 laps here from Bristol Dirt. We'll have Ryan Nesbitt and Michael Whiting up front. Jim Cook and Chris Standridge second row. Third row is Ben Flanagan and DJ Kenner. Fourth row is Brett Carroll and or James Johnson and Brett Carroll. Wayne Bridges and Nick Frank round out the top ten. Drew Warren and Doug Norton are on the sixth row. Then you got Gerald Thanos Poole and Tom Land, 13th and 14th. 15th and 16th is Kevin Martin and James Scruggs. Then Brian Mansfield and Doug McLaughlin. And Skylar Massey and Matt Stewart round out the field. And this will be an interesting battle here at the start. We saw Jim Cook and Ryan Nesbitt battling in heat number one. We saw Chris Standridge and Michael Whiting battling in heat number two. All four of these guys are some of the quickest guys out there on dirt. It'll be interesting to see who prevails. And don't be surprised if you see a, a Ben Flanagan or a DJ Kenner or a Brett Carroll come to the front or a Doug Tyre Norton. Twenty pace car is going to duck off here. It looks like we'll have about twenty four laps of green flag racing. 
Michael Whiting and Ryan Nesbitt lead them down into turn number one, and we're going to watch mid-pack and see who comes through here. As those two battle side by side at the front, it is three wide in a few places back there. Chris Standridge still battling, trying to move up and grab it. Oh, Chris gets spun into the outside wall, collects one car. Everybody else gets by clean, but that brings us under our first caution. Had a lot of beating and banging going on there as the 22 got knocked up into the wall and just collected several cars, including the 92. Looks like he'll have minimal damage. But several cars involved in that melee. Ryan Nesbitt had already opened up a bit of a lead there coming to the caution, so he definitely did not want to see that. Chris Standridge currently on pit road. I do believe he is the only car on pit road. Probably the only one hit hard enough to need repairs there. Looks like Kevin Martin, Wayne Bridges, both involved in that accident, now on the tail end of the lead lap. They should get waved around right before we go green. Ryan Nesbitt still in the lead. Ryan Nesbitt in these dirt cars oftentimes just makes it look too easy the way he drives away from a field. If he gets to the front, he just checks out quite often. Does not look like the 92 has been waved around yet. Looks like Drew Warren went to pay road. James Johnson went to pay road as well. Wayne's still there on the tail end of the lead lap. We'll see if he gets the wave around here before they go green. And don't forget, this is a triple header. So after this, we'll have the 360 sprints followed by the Pro Late Models here tonight. And time permitting, we might even broadcast the SR8 series from Daytona last night, which I hear was a four-wide finish. And I expect the uh, SR8 series, as they're recruiting, and they had a big field last night, I imagine they're going to have some new members in the coming weeks. When they start their next season, that's going to be uh, epic bit of racing. All right, looks like the 92 is being sent to the back of the field. And being scored one lap down as they get ready to go green. Everybody stacks back up. It's Ryan Nesbitt, Michael Whiting. DJ Kenner, Jim Cook, and Brett Carroll, excuse me, are your top five, followed by Ben Flanagan, Gerald Thanos Poole, Brian Mansfield, Tom Land, and Skylar Massey round out the top ten. Ryan Nesbitt starts him off on the front straightaway. The battle back here, there is a, a mess of cars, and Doug Norton was looking to the outside. He is way up high. It looks like he is out of the groove and going backwards now. Brian Mansfield in the meantime. In the 95 car, Brian Mansfield, as caution is out, Brian has picked up a ton of spots. Let's see. It looks like Nick Mullet Frank is the one that brought it out this time. Let's see what happens. He's there in that blue car. And looks like he just got a tap from... Couldn't quite tell who that was. It may have. Been. 
And it looks like in that mess, everybody else managed to get through pretty cleanly. And then James Johnson got caught in the middle, and we had a couple of other cars get involved later on. These little cars do take a bit of a beating, though, so we shouldn't see too many cars going to pit road. Hmm. There's the 95 of Brian Mansfield. We were talking about him a moment ago. He started back in 17th. He is already up to 8th, and he gets another restart here. So he'll be able to pick up several more positions, but he's going to have to get by Brett Carroll, who's right in front of him, Tom Lan uh, Gerald Thanos Poole, Ben Flanagan, and Jim Cook. But he is definitely marching forward. Another one marching forward there is Gerald Thanos Poole. He started back in about 13th. He is now up to 6th. Another big mover, Skyler Massey. He started in 19th. He is up to 10th. So we've got several cars that have managed to come quite a ways forward. James Johnson so far is having a rough night. He started about 7th. He's now back to 20th. Looks like Wayne Bridges also started in ninth. He is back to 19th. Hopefully these guys can recover. Both of them great dirt track racers. We know they can get back up to the front if they have enough time. We'll see if they can get it done here tonight. Looks like James Johnson was the only one to go to pit road during the caution. And they should get the one to green this time by. Yes, it does look like the lights are now out on the pace car. Michael Whiting to the outside of Ryan Nesbitt there. DJ Kenner and Jim Cook have the second row. Ben Flanagan and Gerald Poole have the third row. There is Brett Carroll and Brian Mansfield. Those are going to be two to watch. Chris Standridge has dropped all the way back from 4th to 16th. We'll see if he can get work his way back up to the front here. All right, pace truck drops in. Green flag is in the air. Ryan Nesbitt gets a good launch. The battle is on behind him. As they go three wide down into turn one, they're wrecking right in front of them, and we're under caution again. Ryan Nesbitt got a really good jump on him that time, and it looks like DJ and look like Mike did, Michael Whiting didn't even know he was down there, just drove down a little too far. But passing those two cars gives Brian Mansfield, he is now up to sixth. And Skyler Massey there in the blue car, he is now up to eighth. Both have picked up 11 positions since the start of this race. And we saw Brian, he was making the pass to the outside going into turn one. Right before the accident, still managed to avoid the wreck and pick up a couple of spots. Uh, Expect nothing less out of Brian. He is definitely one of the uh, better dirt track drivers out there. Matt Stewart and DJ Kenner both showing at least one lap down currently, but the only two cars not on the lead lap. We still have 18 cars on the lead lap. Looks like DJ Kenner has gone to bit, pit road. Chris Standridge managed to pick up a couple of spots. He is now up to 13th after starting in 4th. So he's gone backwards quite a bit. Not something we usually see out of him. A little bit of a surprise with the 22 car tonight. 
but he did say don't trust a guy in a red car before the race so and he's driving a red car so who knows he might start moving people to get to the front these cars are definitely taking a bit of a beating here tonight we've seen quite a bit of uh, everybody leaning on each other bumping and banging and uh, quite a bit going on another shout out there is Gerald Thanos pool now up into fourth he started in 13th picked up nine positions so far as we mentioned Brian Mansfield now up to fifth Brett Carroll right behind him in sixth Tom land now up to seventh after not even making it through his uh, heat race or not making the start of his heat race and doing that whole race a lap down Skyler Massey as well he is now up to eighth Doug Tyre Norton now ninth Doug McLaughlin back in tenth and McLaughlin's picked up quite a few spots as well started in 18th up to 10th he's making some progress towards the front as well we'll see if some of these guys have enough time to catch up and see what they can do with the 74 Ben Flanagan started in fourth. He is up there in second now. Or I'm sorry, he started in fifth. He's now up to second. We'll see if he can get up there and give Ryan Nesbitt a run for his money. And as I mentioned earlier, stick around. We will have post-race interviews with some of the drivers, I'm sure. And then uh, also watching the Outcast post-race celebration is just awesome. Green flag in the air. Ryan Nesbitt gets a good jump on this one. Ben Flanagan caught napping. Here comes Thanos. As they go through one and two, Brian Mansfield, we mentioned him earlier. We've mentioned him a lot. He is trying to charge up there and getting to the back bumper of Thanos. In that American flag car, Ryan Nesbitt has checked out from Ben Flanagan. Five laps to go. These guys are battling for everything they're worth. Drop back here and look at the battle going on back here. This is Tom Land in the red and white car, and he's got Brett Carroll right behind him. Skyler Massey coming as well. Skyler running that really low line, trying to get a little bit of a drift going. He might have Brett Carroll here with four laps to go. We'll see if he can get him in three and four. He's got to run to the inside. Looks like he caught too much of the apron and it spun him. He almost gets into Brett Carroll there. Manages to avoid him. Chris Standridge starting to charge back up as well. He gets pushed way up high, but he hangs on to it. Full throttle, full send all the way around the track. He had gone as far back as 18th. He's now holding on to 10th place, starting to make a comeback. But right now, Ben Flanagan running in second, way behind. Caution is out again. Looks like Jim Cook and Skyler Massey. Let's see if we can see what happened here. And it looks like Skyler just lost it in the turn there. Let's see if we can see what happened to Jim Cook. This might be where everything started. Jim loses it right in front of Thanos. Manages to hold it down. Everybody, Brian Mansfield gets around. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, Brian Mansfield got around him. He gets down there to the inside. Everybody checked up. And that's probably part of what caused Skyler Massey's issue. A lot of guys checking up. Ryan Nesbitt currently still holding the lead. He's led every lap so far. Ben Flanagan second. Gerald Thanos Poole now up to third place. And here comes Brian Mansfield. He is not going to let uh, Thanos defeat him that easily tonight. He is now up to fourth after starting in 17th. Thanos started in 13th. He's up to third. Tom Land started back in 14th. He's up to 5th. Brett Carroll started in 8th. He's up to 7th in 999. Doug Tyre Norton now up to 7th from 12th. And Skylar Massey 
in eighth after starting back in 19th. Chris Standridge was starting to move forward. It looks like he might have been caught in that melee. He, uh, he was up to 10th. He is now back in 18th place. And looks like we will go to a green-white checker finish here. And don't forget, after this race, we will have 360s from here, 360 sprints from here at Bristol, and following that, we will have pro late models. Still a lot of racing action to come here tonight. As I mentioned, we usually have Outcast, we usually have BRR on Sunday nights, their Cup Series at 7.30 Eastern. Monday nights, the BRR Dirt Guys start at 7.30 Eastern with the 358s and Big Block Mods on track together, followed by 305s at 8.45 Eastern and their Enduro at 10 Eastern. Tuesday night, XCAL will return at 7.30 Eastern. And then Wednesday night, we will have the Outcast SR8s at 9 Eastern. Lights are out on the pace car. They will line back up and get ready to go. Does anybody have anything for Nesbitt here tonight? It is not looking like it. Some of these guys that have come charging through the field might, but they may not have the time to get to him and challenge him. And, of course, getting to Ryan Nesbitt might be easy. Getting around Ryan Nesbitt, not so much. All right, pace car going to drop off here. There he goes. Ryan Nesbitt will lead him down, try and get a, one last really good jump. He does. Gets a little bit of a gap on Ben Flanagan. Ben struggled a little bit there on the restart. That gives Ryan Nesbitt up to the lead. There is Brian Mansfield back and forth who has come charging through this field. The 91 of Tom Land, though, he is coming up through here, and we've got a whole pack behind him. Just trying to pick up as many positions as they can here at the end. Tom Land is going to give them a run for their money here. As we get the white flag, they will finish the race no matter what happens. Thanos is about to have a handful. He is currently in third, but he's got Tom Land right there on the back bumper as well as Brett Carroll. It is Ryan Nesbitt at the line. Ben Flanagan comes home second. Gerald Thanos Poole finishes third. Brian Mansfield comes home fourth. Tom Land is fifth. Brett Carroll, Doug Norton, Doug McLaughlin, Kevin Martin, and James Scruggs round out the top ten. James made a comeback after being involved in the first caution. Eleventh is James Johnson, then Wayne Bridges, Drew Warren, Michael Whiting, Skylar Massey, it finishes 15th. Chris Standridge manages to reclaim 16th. Jim Cook, 17th. Nick Mullet Frank is 18th as they begin the celebration. 19th was DJ Kenner and 20th was Matt Stewart. Somebody needs to get him back on all four so he can get racing or get crashing again. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, that's better. Engine's just about gone. Don't let him off track until that engine's completely gone and he can't move anymore. That's the outcast way. Looks like his engine was completely done. <laughs> what a great race. Ryan Nesbitt put on a heck of a show. And there is third place finisher Gerald Thanos Poole. Congratulations. Hey, blind worm ran into another one tonight. <laughs> hey, that was a great charge. You started in 13th and picked up 10 positions to finish third. Not uh, not too bad of a night. Oh, I kind of like these Legends cars, and the bigger the track, the better. Uh, uh, it reminds me of my high school days when I uh, used to race snowmobiles at an oval track. Kind of handles the same way. <laughs> Snowmobiles on a <laughs> would be fun, and that's probably a pretty decent analogy of driving these cars. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, basically, yeah, especially with Bristol, you just kind of pick a line and hang on to it and just try to stay out of people and stay out of trouble. So I know I had one there where I, I, I'm not sure how I missed everything that happened in front of me. Well, you did have a couple of close calls, but uh, you made it work for you tonight. Congratulations. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for uh, all you do for the league. We'll talk to you later. All right, thanks. And we now have winner Ryan Nesbitt with us. Congratulations, Ryan. Oh, hey, thanks, Doug. (laughs) It was like every start you just kind of checked out from the rest of the field. Well, being able to to leave on my own accord is kind of nice. Uh, kind of can trick the guys behind me a little bit and kind of play a game. But uh, no, these these cars are a lot of fun to run. Well, and you definitely had the dominant car tonight, and uh, nobody could touch you. Everybody was coming to the front, but even their lap times and everything else. I think if anybody had gotten to you, they probably would not have been able to get around you. That's good to hear, but uh, yeah, no, these, uh, it's crazy, these legend cars, this is, uh, they, they drive just like a 305, it seems like, on this track, it's very interesting how that works, so I felt pretty comfortable there. Awesome, now you get to go and see if you can dominate a 360. Uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous, I'm not, not that great in a 360 yet, but uh, practice makes perfect, I guess. All right, man, best of luck, maybe we'll talk to you again tonight. All right, thanks, Doug. All right, that was winner Ryan Nesbitt. We talked to third place Gerald Thanos Poole. We are going to switch over now and get ready to do some 360 racing as Richie West drops in the chat. Good evening, Richie. So we will step away for about two seconds and get switched over. We'll be right back with you. 